SEO admin team wasting tens of hours every month setting up new client files in Clio Manage? In this video, I'm going to show you an automation that whenever a new matter is opened in Clio Manage, it will create a predefined set of folders inside of the Documents tab. Now, these folders can be customized depending on what practice area the matter pertains to or just have be a default for all the practice areas in your firm. Now, you may ask, Martin, how is this different from meta tablets? I can already set this up in Clear Manage. And the difference lies in two important features. First of all, with this automation, you'll not only be able to create folders, but also upload standard documents inside of these folders, such as client questionnaires, forms, templates, whatever you name it. Apart from that, it will also be able to create more complex folder structures with main matter folders and then subfolders under it. For example, this could be great in estate planning, you know, we have assets and liabilities, all the different types of assets that the person may have. You can create a folder for each one of them automatically. That the inbuilt Clio Manage features cannot do. Now, in this video, I'm gonna go over how the automation is set up in make.com and you'll also be able to very quickly set it up on your account. I have created a template for this automation. You can grab it for free down below uh, in the link or in my bio. Let's get going and see how this automation is set up. Hey there, my name is Martin Kravchenko and I'm the CTO at Swans. We build solutions just like this for our clients every day to make sure that you as the owner can get your time back and focus on actual legal work or the things that you enjoy in life then rather than drowning in admin in your practice. All right, so the trigger of this automation will be a webhook for whenever new matter is created in Clear Manage, this will be triggered instantly. To set it up, just for find the watch matters um, trigger inside of the Clear Manage app in make.com and then create a new webhook. And here you'll need to select the events created. And please also take note of this expires at field, which you will need to set to a maximum of 31 days into the future. After that, the webhook will expire and you'll need to renew it. Now, worry not, I actually have another video on, on this channel uh, that talks about how you can automatically renew these webhooks without any manual action required. So check that out if you're interested. After, after you set up, set up the webhook, every time a new matter is created, we'll get information uh, about it, such as the matter uh, unique identifier, uh, the display number, description, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What we'll do after that is we will set up a router. And this router essentially will execute the different paths that, um, that it contains in their order. So you know, for first path, second path, third path, and we'll also check the filters set up on those paths. So with this router, we'll be able to set up different routes for each practice area that your firm has, right? So for example, in here, I'm checking that the practice area name coming from the first module is equal to wills and estates. If that's the case, then the execution will continue on this route. What I do after this is I set up another router, which in this case will not have any filters. It will simply execute the first branch, after that go to the second branch, and after that go to the third branch, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And in each one of these branches, we are creating a folder. These are the, kind of the main matter folders over here, these three. And on each one of them, it's just simply create a folder action and build inside again, clear manage module. And inside of it, we are defining the name of the folder and we are also defining the parent, right? Where that folder should live. In this case, the parent is the matter because it is the main matter folder, right? It's not a subfolder. So we're just passing the type matter over here. And then in the matter ID, we are choosing, we are passing the matter ID from step number one. In here, you also have the option to select a document category if you would so wish, i.e a tag to be placed on the folder or any file that you're uploading. So we do this for each one of these three main folders. Again, each one of them is named differently. And what I have also done is I clicked on the module and I clicked rename over here 
and I renamed this module to match the folder name just so that you know looking at it visually we can easily see what each one of them is doing. Now if you would want to add more uh, meta folders um, you can do that very easily just click this route over here click the plus icon it will create a new route and what you can do after that is you can copy one of these actions above just click clone drag it onto here remove this module you can also click now out to align it will just make it a bit more uh, structured and then in here you can define for example an admin folder that you'll be creating let's say admin and also let's rename it over here so we can easily see what it is doing and then click save all right so just like this you can add as many folders as you wish now what do you do if you want to create subfolders for example here we have assets and liabilities and under it we have the different types of assets right so financial accounts personal property etc the logic is actually very similar after creating the this main matter folder we have another router which works in exactly the same way and we are creating a few folders under this main matter folder so in this case the setup of the action is a bit different we obviously have the name of the folder of the subfolder right but then the parent considering we are no longer putting it directly under the matter the parent is um, a folder type and in here we are passing the folder id of the main matter folder that we created over here and so just like this you can have a branching logic as complex as you want with as many levels as you want you can just keep adding routers and more actions and for each one of them you'll be obviously changing the name and you'll be changing the folder id to the parent folder id i.e the previous step um, that was executed over here If you want to add more folders again very easy just click this plus icon over here clone one of these previous modules and then rename it to for example let's say real estate over here and then let's also rename the module itself and save cool and let's now look at the other feature, right? Uploading documents, predefined documents. Now this can be stored anywhere, for example, on your OneDrive, Dropbox, or Google Drive. Um, in this case, I'm using a Google Drive. In my drive, I have this client questionnaire.pdf over here. And so after I have created the client info matter, uh, matter folder, uh, I then download the file from Google Drive right so i have authenticated the connection and then i just selected it from my drive manually so it is let's say static it will download the actual value the actual contents of the document and after that we are simply using the upload a document clear manage action we are passing the name of the file from this step of downloading it step number 10. we are putting again the parent we are putting as a folder and passing the folder id of the client info matter folder created in step number four and in the actual file we are simply mapping it to the downloaded file action over here and then same for the file name i'm also applying for example a document category here as forms again that is optional but but you can set it up as you want so what this will do is once this full matter folder has been created it will download the questionnaire and then upload that to that newly created folder So let's save this and um, actually run it and see how it works. We'll mark it as run once. So now it's waiting for any matters being created in Clear Manage. Let's go to our matters screen, click new matter, let's select one of the clients, let's say an estate plan. Let's choose the practice area. This is important, right? Because that will then tell us the automation that it needs to execute those steps. Firm users with access everyone, click save. And pretty much immediately it starts running, right? So as you can see, it starts creating these folders, subfolders. And if we now go to the documents, 
we'll be able to see all of them over here. Under assets and liabilities, we have those extra subfolders. And under client info, we have our file, which we can easily download, send for signature, whatever we need. Fantastic. Now, what if you would want to add more practice areas? That is actually quite simple. The only thing you need to do is, in this case, add another route to this first route over here. You just click plus. You can click auto align so that it makes it a bit more beautiful. And in here, you can define a new filter, right? And let's say this one you want to do for trusts and the practice area over here, practice area name needs to be equal to trusts. And then you can repeat those same actions. If you don't want to rebuild all of that folder structure from scratch, what you can actually do is right click this first route and then click select whole branch. It will select all of these modules over here after this route and right click any of them, click copy modules. And then you can right click over here, click paste, click allow, and it will paste it onto the canvas. And so now what you can do is you can simply hook it up over here. Let's remove this module. We'll need in this case to reset the, um, the filter. So let's do that. And if we now auto align it, just like that, it does become you know quite quite big, but it doesn't really matter. Only the relevant portion of this automation will be executed. And just like this, we now have a route for Wilson Estates, and we have another one for trusts, right? And each one of them can have its own specific sets of folders and documents that are being created. Now, in case your firm just has one practice area, then you don't need this router at all. You can delete it and just go directly to this first router with the matter folders. And in case you want also to have, for example, a specific folder structure defined for Wilson Estates, another one for trusts, and then the rest of the matters need to have kind of a default folder structure applicable to all the other practice areas, you can also do that. Instead of then setting up a filter over here, you can say, for example, other, you can remove the condition, and you can check mark this set the route as a fallback. So click yes over here. And in case then it doesn't fulfill any of the previous filters in the previous routes, this one will get executed, right? So for example, we have one for Wilson Estates, another one for Trust. If it's neither, then this route will get executed and that default folder structure for all the other practice areas will be created. And now, what if you don't want something as complex? In that case, you, you are okay just using meta templates inside of Clio Manage and inbuilt feature inside of Clio that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Again, that will only allow you to create this um, uh, matter folders without any subfolders and without any files uploaded to the matter. What you can, you, you can do that by going into matters list, matter templates, uh, you can create a new template and inside of that you can have pre-filled, for example, the practice area and also if you scroll down, these document folders, right? Again, the main matter folders that will be created. And so that whenever you create a new matter, you'll be able to use an existing template. You'll be able to select it. It will pre-fill any of the fields that you have filled out in the template, right? So for example, practice area over here and the document folders that we have outlined over there. Once you create the matter, those will be visible on it but again, without any subfolders and without any files uploaded. In case you want to set up something like this, again, I have a template for this automation. You can easily set it up on your account in just a few clicks, find it in the link down below or in my bio and, uh, um, and import it into your make.com account. Now, I hope that you have found this video helpful. If you have any questions or issues, please let me know. I would be happy to help. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe to see more.